Long ago in the land of Persia, in the city of Shushan, was the palace of the rich and powerful King Akashverosh, who ruled over 127 provinces from Hodu to Kush. The king gave a huge feast to show off his wealth to the entire kingdom. Much wine was drunk in golden goblets. Even the Jews of Shushan came. Welcome to my feast, everyone. The king really knows how to throw a party. On the last day of the party, when the king was very drunk, he called for his wife, Queen Vashti, daughter of the wicked King Belshazzar, to come to his feast and show off her beauty to everyone. What is it that you want, minister? Can't you see that I'm very busy? Queen Vashti, the king commands that you come to his party wearing your crown. No! King Akashverosh became very angry when Vashti refused to come. Send her away! She must be punished. Vashti will never again appear before the king! A few days later... I miss Vashti. I'm so lonely. <laughs> His advisors convinced him to have a beauty contest for a new queen. New queen contest! All beautiful girls of the kingdom, come to the palace, signed by the king! Writers were sent throughout the kingdom to find the most beautiful girls for the contest. <laughs> In Shushan also lived Mordecai the Jew, a great Torah scholar. Many years earlier, he had adopted his young orphan cousin Esther. Cousin Mordecai! Welcome, my little Esther. Sadly, Mordecai knew they would take the beautiful Esther to the palace. I know the king will choose you, Esther. I don't want to be queen. I want to stay with you, Mordecai. If you are queen, you can help all the Jews of the kingdom. Don't tell anyone in the palace that you are Jewish. Esther went to the palace and Mordecai would visit her every day. Esther! Up here, Mordecai. Esther lived in the palace for a year before being called to see the king. She became the favorite of Haggai, the guardian of the women who gave her the best apartment and food. Your favorite fruits and veggies were in the market today, Esther. When Esther was called to see the king on the 10th of Tevich, she didn't wear anything fancy like the other girls, only what Haggai advised. Esther enchanted all who met her, including the king. He fell in love with her more than all the other women of his kingdom. King Akashverosh crowned her queen in place of Vashti, One day at the palace gate, Mordecai overheard two of the palace guards, Big Don and Teresh, talking in a foreign language. They're going to poison the king! It's a good thing I know 70 languages. Mordecai told Esther about their plan. She warned the king and saved his life. The matter was investigated and the guards were put to death. King Akashverosh appointed the wicked Haman ben Hamdata, the Agagite, <laughs> to be his prime minister over the kingdom. Bow before me, Mordecai! I am a Jew, Haman. I only bow to Hashem. <laughs> Haman was so mad that he wanted to destroy Mordecai and all of the Jews in the kingdom. He made a poor, a lottery, to pick a good day to kill all of the Jews. Let us destroy the Jews of the kingdom! I will pay 10,000 silver talents to the king's treasury. It will cost you nothing!
Take my royal ring, Haman, and do as you like. Of course the king still didn't know that his own wife, Queen Esther, was Jewish. Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. Haman wrote the evil decree in the king's name, sealed it with the king's ring, and sent it to every province. Kill the Jews! Men, women, children, young, old! Take their stuff! Thirteenth of Adar! Sign the king! When Mordecai read the evil decree to kill all the Jews in the kingdom, he put on sackcloth and went about the city crying loudly. Oh. Queen Esther! Mordechai is outside the gate crying. The queen is worried about you. Why are you wearing rags and crying? Hasak, show this evil decree to Esther. She must ask the king to help the Jews. I'm afraid. If I approach the king without being summoned, I could be killed. If you don't help your people now, their deliverance will come from somewhere else. But you will perish. It is for this that you became queen. Hasach, tell Mordechai that I will go to the king. But first he must gather all of the Jews of Shushan to fast and pray with me for three days. No food or water. For three days the Jews of Shushan fasted and prayed to be saved from the evil decree, and Mordecai learned Torah with all the children. When they are in the land of their enemies, I will not reject them. Enter, my queen. What would you like? Up to half of my kingdom is yours. If it pleases the king, would the king and Haman come to my party tomorrow? Hurry, everyone. It's almost time. What is your request? It will be granted. Will the king and Haman please come to another feast tomorrow? I can't believe that I've been invited to two private parties. Jungle. That night, Haman complained to his wife Zeresh that the Jew Mordecai was the only one in the kingdom who would not bow to him. She urged him to build gallows to hang Mordecai. The same night, the king couldn't sleep. He called his servant to read from the royal book. He read, and Mordecai reported a plot to kill the king and save the king's life. What honor was given Mordecai for saving my life? Nothing was done for him, your majesty. Just then Haman returned to the palace to tell the king about his amazing new plan to hang Mordecai. Who is that I hear? It is Haman in the courtyard, your majesty. But before Haman could speak... Ah, Haman! How can I honor someone who helped me? You could give him the king's horse and dress him in the king's robe. Great idea, Haman! You will dress Mordechai in my royal garments and lead him around the city on my horse. Mordechai? Ah, I thought the king wanted to honor me! Here one, here all! This is what is done for Mordechai, who the king wants to honor! Later that day, at the queen's second feast with the king and Haman. What can I do for you, my queen? I will give you half of my kingdom. Please, King, I only ask that you save me and my people from the one who wants to destroy us. Destroy you? Who wants to destroy you? Tell me now! It is he, the wicked Haman. And he's already built gallows to hang Mordecai. Guards, hang Haman on the same gallows he made for Mordechai! Ah. 
Esther, I give you Haman's estate, and Mordechai will be my new prime minister. A new decree. Jews of the kingdom, defend yourselves. Thirteenth of Adar, sign the king. The Jews fought and defeated their enemies on the 13th of Adar and celebrated on the 14th. But in Shushan, they defeated them on the 14th of Adar and celebrated on the 15th. These days of Purim became days of feasting and happiness, days of sending food to friends and giving money to the poor. The Jews of Shushan and the rest of the kingdom took it upon themselves their children and converts to observe this holiday forever. Therefore, Queen Esther and Mordecai wrote down everything in the Megillah, and we read it every year. 